So today I'm talking about the causes when a car smells like gas, but you don't see any leaks anywhere, and how you can go about finding the problem, and what's causing the gas smell. So there's basically two systems to check when a car smells like gas, and the main one is going to be the EVAP system, and then the second one's going to be the fuel delivery system. And the EVAP system is for emissions, and it basically just takes the gas vapors from the gas tank, sends them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And so to do this, it sends the gas vapors up through a hose to a thing called a charcoal canister, which holds the gas vapors when the engine's not running. Then it sends them up to what is called a purge valve, which just opens when the engine's running to let the gas vapors in to get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so the gas vapors don't escape. And this EVAP system is a very common cause of why a vehicle could smell like gas. And so for this reason, the first thing to go and do is to scan the onboard computer with an OBD2 scan tool. And this is really easy to do. There's a port up underneath the dashboard on the driver's side that you just plug in and you just scan for codes. There's really low cost OBD2 scan tools. You can get these for like $20, $30 on Amazon. You can even get free scans at automotive stores. So it's really easy to do. And basically you just look and you see if there's any error codes on the onboard computer. Because if there is, then it'll point you to what the issue is. So for example, if you got this, a P0442, it would point you to an EVAP emission system leak detected. And you know there's an issue with the EVAP system. So first thing to do is get a scan of your onboard computer. The next thing you could do is you could go around and check all these main components inside of the EVAP system. So this starts with the purge valve solenoid which is located up on top of the engine it'll have like two hoses going to it you can go check it out be sure it's working properly I made a video on how you could test one of these purge valves. If you need to check that out, I'll put a link to that in the description below. But basically, check out these hoses. Be sure it all looks like it's connected good. You can also go up underneath the vehicle and check out what is called the charcoal canister. This will have several hoses going to it. It'll also have what is called a vent valve, which the computer uses to test the EVAP system. And if that goes bad, it can leak gas vapors. If you took it to a mechanic and they thought there was a leak, what they would do is they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And wherever the smoke come out, they would know where the leak's at. And this is very common method and so if you do think you have an evap leak and you can't spot anything obvious there is some low-cost smoke machines that you could get on like amazon or ebay or there's even diy smoke machines that you can make for like five or ten dollars there's some good youtube videos on how you go about making one if you wanted to but the next thing to go and do would be to go around and check all these hoses that come up from the gas tank to the charcoal canister up to the purge valve and into the engine and check everything for any possible leaks because again this is a very common problem when a vehicle smells like gas is that there's a leak inside the evap system and so if there's no leak inside the evap system the only other thing that could cause this problem is going to be the fuel delivery which is what's sending fuel to the engine so that starts off with the fuel pump and then you're going to have fuel lines that send the fuel up to the engine on many vehicles there's an inline fuel filter not all sometimes the fuel filters inside the gas tank and it's sending all the fuel up to fuel injectors, which sends the fuel into the cylinders. And so if any of these components are leaking, then it's going to cause a gas smell. And of course, usually when these are leaking, you do have some kind of gas leak underneath the vehicle. Not all the time. For example, right here is a leaky fuel injector that was causing a gas smell, and it was burning off on the intake manifold, so it wasn't leaking underneath the vehicle, but it was still causing a gas smell and had a small leak coming from this injector, which had a bad O-ring. So that is something to look for. The fuel lines can also leak real small little pins hole leak sometimes when they age they rub together or they get rusted up and they can leak like really small little pinhole leaks and the leak isn't big enough to be leaking on the ground but it is enough just to send out like a small vapor or just enough to make things smell like gas so that'd be another thing to look out for is all these lines going up to the top of the engine and check to see if any of them have like a small little leaks going on and so basically if the evap system has no leaks then just start checking that fuel delivery system go from the fuel pump follow the gas lines going up to the top of the engine they may or may not go through a fuel filter but check that if there is and then all the way up to the top of the engine to the fuel rail there'll be a fuel rail that runs along the top of the engine with an injector on every single cylinder and just look around there as best you can and just see if you spot any kind of leaks going on because the two main causes of a vehicle smelling like gas is going to be a leak in the evap system or a leak in the fuel delivery system and so that's basically it i just wanted to go over some of the causes when a car smells like gas but you don't see a leak anywhere if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions Ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.